from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. We're working to find out if charges will be filed after a man was fatally stabbed one day before his 19th birthday. St. Pete police say Justin Schmidt got into an argument with someone he knew and that led to him being killed. It happened at his home on Haynes Road. Investigators say they questioned a man at the scene, but he has not been charged. Parents of students with life threatening allergies can now feel more, feel more safe sending their kids to school. Pasco County Schools just partnering with the Department of Health to put EpiPens on campuses. Every school in the district now has regular and junior EpiPens. This program has already saved a life. An EpiPen was used on a student with a peanut allergy at Land Lakes High School. You can get some new lightning gear as you cheer on the team at the next game. The Bolts launching a new line of player design hats and shirts. It's being sold exclusively at Tampa Bay Sports, at Amelie Arena, and International Plaza. $10 of every item will benefit a local charity. Now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. How you doing everybody? Tracking rain, not only tonight, but right on through the day on Wednesday. And then I think by late Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night, some of the heavier rains push across our southern counties. And then on Thursday, we clear out and cool off with temperatures dropping into the 50s. Thank you, Dennis. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. Remember, you can always download the free ABC Action News app.